Imagine a single mom of three daughters. Imagine for a moment the love and pride she has for her beautiful children. Now imagine that same mom needing to tell her daughters she only has a few months to live. Imagine the pain that mom is experiencing and the fear and sadness in her children's hearts and minds. Add to that image the strain from a long marriage that ended months back and the conflict and ache that comes with separation. Compound all of that with a restraining order prohibiting these parents from communicating. Take a moment to consider all of the things you would want the parent of your child to know if you thought you weren't going to be on this earth much longer. That very conversation happened within the walls of the DRC. A restraining order was lifted for a mediation session between these two parents. I stayed in the room with them for more than three hours, creating a space for mom to share every bit of information that was swirling around in her mind. Which day to drive her eldest to her new college dorm room? how to help her youngest apply for a scholarship, which women she wanted to encircle her daughters in her absence, whether and when dad would move into their home if she passed away. After this cathartic release of each request and task, it was as if a weight had been lifted from her shoulders. And for this mom, being able to trust that dad would be there for their girls was giving her the peace of mind that she needed to prepare for what was to come. The conversation could have ended there, but there was more. So please now imagine dad, who loves mom deeply, who is still pained by their separation, who has been unable to talk directly with her and who has wondered and prayed about her health, who has been fearful that he will soon lose the mother of his children, but who has been prevented from having this conversation with her. Imagine the questions he had. Imagine both the comfort and the intensity of finally being able to sit in the same room with her and talk to talk about their hopes and dreams for their girls, to talk through their fears, and to agree together how to support their children. Also imagine a dad who had not yet said he was truly sorry for the end of their marriage. Imagine that this may have been the last time that he would have been able to speak with her. He shared those feelings and more in the most emotional mediation I've ever been privy to. And they left that mediation with a list of what needed to be done for the girls. And they left with a bit more closure on their marriage and a sense that they truly had shared what they needed to say. And I was honored to be a part of that space. Thank you.